Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For my returning subscribers, I love you so much. You honestly don't understand how much I appreciate you and your comments and your interactions that we have here on my page. For those of you that are new here, be sure to check out the rest of my videos and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. It's really fun over here. We do bags, we do trips, concerts actually. Um, and so that'll be kind of been part of my next video coming out. I have a vlog coming out after this. But anyway, I digress. Today's video is going to be a what's in my bag for my Fendi First small that I have in brown leather that I got for myself earlier this year. So be sure to stay tuned. Perfect. She's back. Okay, we are returned with the beauty that is this Fendi First small and brown leather. This is actually my first Fendi bag as well, first Fendi purchase, so that's very fitting. Um, and you guys have seen this bag before if you've been to my channel before. If you haven't, I'll be sure to link that video up above for you guys. I did an unboxing on this when I first got it. But today we're going to be taking a look inside of what I usually carry inside of this bag. All right, so for me, uh, this bag right here is like a clutch, obviously, right? And like you've seen in my previous um, unboxing video, it does have the option to have a strap with it, but it always just feels so much more natural to just kind of carry it like under my arm, like in the crooks of my arm, like this, or like in my hand while I'm walking, to be honest. The strap is very cute, but I think it's just much more of a clutch kind of vibe. And I usually wear this bag whenever I'm going out to nice events like I went to this casino themed party one time where we really had to like dress up or if I'm going out to like a nice dinner with my boyfriend I will take this bag with me and it's just so cute and with that being kind of the idea of how um of what kind of events I usually wear this bag to it's kind of dictating what I have in my bag as well what I have for you guys today um so let's get started so it's this little press button right here, so you just press it down and it opens up the latch on the purse. Um, and let's just take a look one more time at the, the Fendi Prince. Fendi Prince, like Nikki said, it's it's so cute. Fendi Prince on, or whatever, however, insert Nikki's face. Into this video, anyway, anywho. Um, yeah, so let's get straight into it. I absolutely love this print. I think I'm gonna get another. Fendi bag eventually. I would love to get a little classic Fendi bag, maybe a bucket bag and this Fendi print because it's just, it's so eye-catching, honestly. You see it and you're like, yeah, we know what that is. We know what that is. But it's just so cute and it's not super um, obnoxious, I don't think. Like, I don't like having a lot of things that say Fendi or Louis Vuitton across the front. That's why I with my blue bags, I usually go for the, um, the damier the checker pattern um but anyway i digress uh i just really love this print and just wanted to give that a little highlight one more time today i will say just a real quick kind of like overview of how this bag has held up for me so far it's really really great i like that there's not a lot of actually gold on the outside when you close it it's just enough for it to pop but it does pick up fingerprints and kind of just like oils and stuff from your fingers a lot so on the inside you can definitely see a lot of that but not so much on the outside which is really really nice okay anyway so the first thing that i have in my bag today all right like i said i feel like a, uh not like i said but i definitely feel like a superstar <laughs> when i'm wearing this bag so we gotta have the sunshades to go with it you know when you're out and about even if it's nighttime you're like you know, I just feel like a little bit of a celebrity, a little bit. Um, so a lot of times when I'm dressing up, I like to wear sunglasses. But I think it's just because it's a cute, it's a vibe with it, to be honest. Especially when you're walking in, like, to a restaurant and you're like... <laughs> okay, anyway, never mind. It is pretty sunny in Houston, so sunglasses. Next thing I have in this bag, my trusty, dusty wallet. I truly, truly... I need to get a new one. I think that might be my next thing that I put on my list for myself when I'm making my next purchase, probably for Christmas, because that's coming up soon. I need to get myself a new wallet. We're trying to get tired of seeing the same thing. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm sure you are too, but it's my trusty dusty wallet, so she goes in the bag. And it's a good example because I will probably never buy a wallet this bigger than that. If I buy anything bigger than that, it's going to be a clutch. That's just me. Anyway. Okay, the next obvious thing I have in my bag is my phone, which honestly, I'm waiting to get the new one. This is the iPhone 11 Pro. I've had it for three years now, and the little, little like, speaker part when I, like, hold it up to my ear on my, when I'm on the phone now, 
basically doesn't work. So I am waiting for the 14 Pro, there's some bugs on it right now. And cause I, yeah, anyway, I need a new phone. But it's gonna be about the size, about the same size. I never get the big joints cause I can't reach with my thumbs up high on like the maxes you know like the bigger phone no anyway so whatever phone i usually get is going to be about this size anyway so we have that okay next thing that i have in this bag is my fragrance of choice right now i love me a to-go fragrance i actually just bought like some full-size ones because i'm really into fragrances right now like layering them with lotions i am all over the smelling good right now my boyfriend has really in <laughs> influenced me um and so that he's like really big into colognes and everything and lately i've been layering with oils and lotions and perfumes and so i've got some full size ones lately but we still have the travel size ones right here for purposes such as my small bags all right so today what we have zoom in for you so let's see if it'll focus I'm really into like coconutty smells right now. I think I talked about the Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume, how my last What's in My Bag video, I have the um, uh, Sol de Janeiro, I think it's 68, and that one's kind of a dupe. I am obsessed with coconut right now. Okay. Yeah, so this is the Dolce & Gabbana Garden. Dolce Garden, excuse me. Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden. And so this one kind of has like coconut undertones to it. I feel like it's kind of like more of a fresh coconut. I'm a person that I don't like vanilla scents, so I don't like the warmer coconutty ones. I like the ones that are more like like fresh or floral or watery kind of coconut. And this one is kind of like a, I feel like a very deluxe kind of floral. And I guess that makes sense because it says garden, like a florally kind of coconut. Whereas I feel like the Ariana Grande Cloud is more like coconut waters kind of a scent. Um, but this one smells really amazing as well. I smell very flowery, which kind of matches with <laughs> my dress that I have on, which was unintentional. But yeah, this is currently the one I'm using right now. Okay, next thing that we have inside of our bag is... Alright, don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me, okay? Because I saw this. Ulta has a lot of them. And you never want to be caught lacking, especially like if you're in a nice restaurant and all of a sudden your stomach says we need to go to the bathroom like right now. I got me a little to go, a little, you know, a little to go poopery. We're not even going to, we're going to be, we keep it real on this channel. That's what we're going to do. This one's actually a flowery scent too as well, which is pretty funny. So this is the lavender vanilla poopery. Honestly, you can use it as a air freshener or like how it's meant to be used it's up to you but you never want to be caught lacking so we got this in our bag with us especially if we're in a nice place just if you stay ready you ain't got to get ready and while we're in the bathroom while we're out and about um we gotta be able to touch up our makeup if we need to am i right so right now i have these two not that one that's next all right, right now I have these two. I, this is my trusty dusty lip gloss. Honestly, I don't use any other lip gloss but the Fenty lip gloss. Um, this one is a color Fenty Glow. And I paired it with this lip liner. You know, lip liner gloss combos has been very popular since the 90s, 2000s, right? This is my go-to at the moment. So I got this one. This is in... So this is their crayon lip pencil and the color brown which is pretty simple i thought it was gonna be a <laughs> more complicated color than that but this is in brown uh that's pretty much what it looks like here and i realized i need to get a pencil sharpener i have not owned a pencil sharpener i don't think since i was in like elementary school because you know i started using like mechanical pencils and i freaking hate, could not stand the pencil sharpeners because i always broke the ends of my pencil because they're right i write really hard i'm like really heavy-handed um anyway so yeah this is and then i pair it with the fenty glow which is this color which is pretty much what you've already seen on the outside of the bottle i think it's just super super cute so you have that ready to go in the bathroom in addition to an eyebrow pencil so my eyebrows are wide but they're kind of like thin kind of sparse and so i use eyebrow mascara which you guys have seen in a previous video if you're interested i would highly recommend the brow mascara by merit beauty i've actually 
done a review and a feature on that in my last what's in my bag video for my Louis Vuitton Spirone. Um, I'll have my link below if you want to go to that directly from my link and check that out. The eyebrow mascara that they have is probably my favorite product that I've used so far. I love an eyebrow mascara. I've used them from different brands. That one's, it was, it's really, really good. I highly recommend that. Um, but then in addition to that, I use an eyebrow filler, um, like an eyebrow little pencil to fill in my eyebrows because they're kind of a bit sparse sometimes. Like this one tends to disappear when I take pictures sometimes if I don't fill in between the hairs enough. Um, and then of course just a little brush, a little spoolie to even it all out at the end. So I kind of just use this to touch up what I've already done after the eyebrow mascara. Because, you know, you don't want to, this is like regular mascara, like you don't want to put on too much because then you start to like a spider on your eyelashes. It's kind of like a similar situation with your eyebrows, so I just kind of touch it up after, you know, half a day or whatever with a pencil if I'm out and about and you got to be on camera taking pictures. Um, and then of course I got a few little Q-tips just to touch up any makeup that I touch up in the bathroom. Just to clean up um, any makeup that I touch up in the bathroom. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you real quick. I've put everything back inside of my purse just to give you guys an idea of what that looks like with all of those items that I just mentioned back inside of my purse. And I still have a, a good amount of space here, which I realized I didn't include my keys um, like I usually do. But as you can see, there's plenty of space here to add in a key, or maybe like an extra hand sanitizer or whatever it is that you like to carry in your purses. So yeah, there's plenty of space and you can jiggle around a lot in there and get your hand in about pretty easily so it's pretty easy to maneuver in this bag and you can see everything pretty clearly you may have to like adjust here and there but it's pretty spacious bag like even though it's really just from here down it does get wider at the bottom than it is at the top so that's very convenient all right guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was super helpful. And if you do have any questions about this bag or anything that I didn't really answer for you here today, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll get back with you. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. You might as well. And be sure to check out the videos that I have coming up next, guys. I do vlogs, I do purse reviews, I do shopping, we do trips. Just come along with me and check it out on this journey. All right guys, bye, see you next time. Ooh, this hair is hot, y'all. My neck and the lights. Alright, matching up. Okay.